Hiya folks, I hope you're all doing well. We're looking at more of our 2009 Gauss paper, the grade 8 Gauss by the way, and we're up to question 15. Uh, in the rectangle PQRS, PQ is 12, PR is 13. Now as soon as I see numbers like that, I start to get suspicious. 13 and 12 on a triangle, you know, like this triangle here. That makes me very suspicious. I'll get into that in a moment. But what's the question actually asking us for? We just want the area of this rectangle. Well, how do we figure out areas for rectangles? Well, if we knew one side and we knew the other side, the length and the width, we just multiply those together. Another plan of attack, if we needed it, might be, well, we've got two triangles here. If I knew their areas, I could add them up. But we're going to go with the first method, and because and, we've got 12 here, if only we could figure out QR. And that's where the 13 and 12 are going to come in. So it's a rectangle. Now, unlike a lot of diagrams, they have left off the right angles that you might find in a rectangular diagram. But this is a rectangle. They tell us it's a rectangle, so there are right angles in each of the four corners. But what's going to be very important is our right angle here at Q. Because PQR is a right angle triangle. And I know its hypotenuse is 13, and I know one of the side lengths is 12. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, how did I recognize it so fast? Uh, and, and I know that this is going to be 5 without doing any calculations, because I've done a lot of these contests, and I know the Pythagorean theorem comes up a lot. Right angle triangles come a lot. It's not always integer side lengths, but when they are integers, these sides, they're called Pythagorean triples. And the first few are 3, 4, and 5. Now that's a good one to know. 3, 4, and 5. But the next most basic one is 5, 12, 13. Now I know several others. For example, uh, 8, 15, and 17 is a really nice one as well. But uh, if you're not starting to make these connections, you soon will if you do more and more contests for practice. And you'll find that the Pythagorean triples, they, they really do come up a lot, and you start to recognize them automatically. But, okay, maybe we didn't recognize it right away. But we, we play around with it. We get this right angle here. Okay, so what would we need? Well, the Pythagorean te theorem tells me that 13 squared, the hypotenuse, so that's PR, has got to be the sum of the squares of both the side lengths. So there's QR. I don't know what it is yet. But we get out our calculator, 169 is 144 plus whatever QR squared is. Subtract 144 from both sides and you'll get QR squared is 25. So the missing side, the width that we need is five. And so finally the area uh, of our, of our uh, rectangle is going to be length times width. We get a final answer of 60. There we go. And 60 should be one of the answers. It's B. I already accidentally have a line through it, but there we go. And that's question 15. Okay. Up next will be question number 16. We are entering the last half of uh, the, the Part B questions, and this is where the contest can start to slow you down a little bit. But uh, we'll figure out which questions are hard in the future. I will see you for question 16 next time.